going to be assessing hamstring mobility and symptom response. I'll be starting with the hamstring 90-90 test. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and test your hamstring flexibility. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and bring your leg into 90 degrees of hip flexion, 90 degrees of knee flexion. So now that he's in this position, I'm going to go ahead and slowly start to extend his knee. Again, I want to be assessing for um, checking it in at his pelvis, making sure he's not compensating. And so this is about where he gets. How are you doing? Any pain? Good. Okay. So he's lacking approximately 40 degrees of knee extension and normal is roughly 20 degrees. So I would say he's a little bit tight, although he is not feeling pain, and I would again assess the other side to compare. So now I'm going to do the hamstring straight leg raise test. Um, again, it's assessing for hamstring um, mobility, and I'll be making sure, checking to see if he has some pain. So I'm going to go ahead and just slowly um, Raise his leg, checking in at the patient, and again, making sure he's not compensating at his hip. And that's about where I hit his resistance. How are you feeling? Good. Okay. So he's at about 45 degrees of hip flexion, roughly, and normal would be 70 degrees, and then excessive range of motion would be greater than 90 degrees. And then again, I would assess the other side to compare. 